We begin with breaking news in Homewood where police held a news conference giving the latest details for an officer involved shooting that left one suspect dead. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Lee Garner in for Sherry Jackson. That suspect has been identified as 35 year old John Payne of Birmingham. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is joining us now live in Homewood. So, Stefan, what are police saying? Well, Lee, to put it simply, they say uh, they are defending its officer's actions and saying if John Payne didn't run, he'd still be alive today. Early Thursday morning, around 1.30 in the parking lot of All South Appliances, police say they spotted two vehicles, one of which had the trunk open. When they approached the car, they confronted two men and a woman. That's when police say 35-year-old John Payne ran away from officers. After police attempted to tase the suspect, he allegedly pulled out a gun, shooting and injuring one of the officers before they returned fire, killing Payne. Chief Ross says this is their second officer-involved shooting in as many months. The investigations of these two officer-involved shootings will reveal that both suspects declined to follow instructions that were lawfully given to them by our officers, but instead decided to flee from and subsequently assault our officers rather than face potential criminal charges and prosecution. Now, Chief Ross did extend prayers to the injured officer as well as the family of that suspect. Now, we have attempted to reach out to the family of John Payne, but have yet to hear back. Now, as far as this investigation, as you know, with any officer involved shooting, Aaliyah is investigating this. We're told they are reviewing surveillance footage from that area, and no word on if they will be releasing that footage to the media. We're live in Homewood tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.